All right, all right, y'all. Okay, so I paid to get my tarot card reading. Um, yeah, so I'm nervous. <laughs> But yeah, I paid to get my tarot card reading. Um, I thought it was going to be like five minutes long because that's what it said on the thing. But she made it like 18 minutes long. So I saw like the first 30 seconds of it and I was like, whoa. But all right, let's watch it, y'all. I hope it don't crash no more. If it crash again, hopefully it don't crash. Um, but let's pretty much see. What's on this video? Hopefully it don't crash y'all, but this is a tarot card reading about me. Me. I don't want to mispronounce your name, but I feel like energy is like, it's okay, it's okay. So I'm going to call you Kornaya. Let me wind it back. Hopefully it don't crash no more though. She was trying to figure out how to say my name. It's Kornaya. Most people say Kornaya. Hey, friend. Okay, so is it Cornaya or Cornea? I don't know why I want to call you Cornaya. I don't want to mispronounce your name, but I feel like energy is like, it's okay, it's okay. So I'm going to call you Cornaya, and I want to tell you this. Okay, so I'm getting the cards, and I don't know. Do you know Monica? I mean, I'm pretty sure you know Monica, but anyway, back in the day. Okay, I'm going to pause it because he got to go cut Alexa down because Alexa is way too loud. Alexa. Energy is like, it's okay, it's okay. So I'm going to call you Cornaya. And I want to tell you this. Okay, so I'm getting the cards. And I don't know, do you know Monica? I mean, I'm pretty sure you know Monica. But anyway, back in the day, she had this song that was Miss Bang. So you got to check out the lyrics of that song. Because Spirit is just telling me that this is your energy. Like, you are Miss Bang, okay? So as you see, cards already came out. So let's just see what Spirit wants me to know. Moving in love and light to keep you on your righteous path. Ooh. Okay. There we go. Okay, so let's just see. Spirit is acknowledging that there's something that you suffer with, like anxiety, could be PTSD, but it's like a... <sighs> well, you want to get a chill because you keep pushing me over and I'm, I'm pretty much fine with you. The, the video 18 minutes long, so just make yourself comfortable. I mean, you had plenty of time to do what you want to do. Right, like to keep you on your, your righteous path. Ooh. Okay. There we go. Okay, so let's just see. Spirit is acknowledging that there's something that you suffer with, like anxiety, could be PTSD, but it's like a <sighs> kind of energy where. Wow. I suffer with anxiety every day. And PTSD, etc. etc. Et get your feathers ruffled. They need to get your reaction too. Just get in the video. Sometimes you just gotta get a control of yourself, okay? And control of your emotions and <sighs> You wanna just wait until you find a seat or something? Let's just see. Okay. Take a deep breath in and just blow it out. Pass. Ooh. Okay. There we go. Okay, so let's just see. What? Spirit is acknowledging that there's something that you suffer with, like anxiety, could be PTSD, but it's like a <sighs> kind of energy where sometimes you just gotta get a control of yourself, okay? And control of your emotions and <sighs> take a deep breath in and just blow it out and relax. Do you suffer from headaches, migraines? Just a question. Okay, so there is a big ball of yellow solar plexus letting me know that you're like, I can do whatever I say I can do in regards to my emotions, in regards to my health, how I deal with my mental health, how I deal with myself, period. Also in regards to your relationship because you're like, I'm gonna do what I wanna do in regards to a lot of things. You're a very like free kind of independent thank you spirit okay independent um don't get your feathers ruffled though focus on inner calm well-being patience deep breathing compassion and the ideal spirit is acknowledging that sometimes when the wind blows and this is giving me some air sign energy your thoughts can be all over the place and so sometimes you, you could you can quickly change how you feel you can feel this way and you can quickly change it and feel this way etc etc and poor manners lack of tech discourtesy and politeness social grace required 
Spirit wants you to get grounded. Okay. And Spirit wants you to know that there is spirit is around you. I shake to the essence. I shake to the universe. Anytime something is upon you that is not of good. The energy is sound mind, clear, cancel, and release. Seriously, so you have to say clear, cancel, and release. I clear it, I cancel it, and I release it. I shay, I shay, I shay. I clear, I cancel, and I release. I'm working on that every day. Okay, because Spirit said that in the midst of this, when you're not grounded, there's an energy of poor manners, lack of tact, discourtesy, impoliteness, social grace is required. Spirit is acknowledging that they want you to be quiet and they want you to listen because they're trying to tap in and to you and they want you to tap into them. They are leaving you messages and synchronicities because they want you to attach this higher level thinking, higher level operating ascension energy. It says higher, higher. Social grace required privacy consideration. Pretty much stop posting everything. Yeah. Yeah. Here, higher. That's where they want you even higher. Okay, don't let nobody get you in the space of fucked up, right? And just excuse my French, but you know that saying, you fuck around and find out, you don't play. Okay, but Spirit says, you're good at that. But now, <laughs> the people know, let's go higher. They want you to go higher. Don't get comfortable in that space, okay? And for whatever. She said, I don't play. <laughs> That is true, I don't play. The reason could be childhood trauma. You have gotten comfortable. That could be childhood trauma. It is childhood trauma and a lot of other shit. Well, in that space, because that is your place of protection. In this space, you know, ain't nobody gonna try you. The spirit is acknowledging to release that again. Spirit, spirit wants me to release that. Ain't nobody gonna try me energy. But spirit, how do I release it? Besides, I know going to therapy, let stuff go, etc. Cetera, et cetera. Okay, I'm going to play the video. Corey, be going. Release and level up, ascend. They want you to be a more peaceful, higher vibrating energy, okay? So Spirit said, hush up. Silence, disc discretion, contemplation, equanimity, consideration, and privacy. So they want you to think before you speak, okay? Spirit is also acknowledging that there is something that really has you totally content. And maybe you have already been practicing this energy, could be, but there are some crazy eyes here, but you're totally content. It's a yes, success, which is granted, mastery, joyous resolution. So there's something that is on the horizon, something that has come to you and it makes you really, really happy. So let me know more about that. But Spirit also says that in the area of passion, there is something, and this could be a past relationship. Um, so, you know, feel free if you want to share with me what this is, but there was something that you needed to walk away from. No, thank you. Walk away. Refusal. Know your worth. Self-respect and strength. There's a relationship that you needed to walk away from. And it's almost like you, you're happy that you've walked away from that relationship. Like it still gives you crazy eyes. Maybe something went a little haywire spirit is saying in that last relationship, but you're content that you walked away from that. Spirit is also acknowledging that that was a karmic partner. Okay. And so... It created a lot of emotion for you. You were stomping in it and you were able to see your reflection in it. And you were able to learn your lesson and it was communicative. Um, it was passionate and it was also matters of the heart, but it was reflective. So you were able to see yourself in it. You were able to see what you needed to learn from that situation. Spirit said it put a bad taste in your mouth. I don't know why, but Spirit keeps guiding me to say that that was a past relationship. So you can share that with me if you choose to. When life gives you lemons, make lemonade, be optimistic, persevere, seek opportunity, creativity, and genius. So Spirit is just acknowledging again that there's been some things and some moments and some people and some places in your life that have put a sour taste in you in your mouth. Like... <sighs> Spirit is saying that you've tasted the bitterness of life and now they want to give you the sweetness of life. And so you have to be open to receive that. And to be open to receive that, you have to vibrate and resonate on a higher level. Okay. And Spirit said that that ain't truth, grits and groceries. So, you know, I was told that a lot of times you won't be able to get to the sweetness unless you let go of the bitterness. <laughs> Bless me. It's so, it's so hard letting go of the bitterness. If you know my readings, you know, that's it. It's a silly deal, Cora. It's a, um, that's enough with that deck, okay? Moving forward. Cornea. Cornea. Okay. What does Spirit want to share with the in love and light? Okay. 
With the Nine of Wands, Spirit is acknowledging it's a fire sign, passionate but chaotic, that you're adventurous, adventurous, fearless, rebellious, sexy, brave, a risk taker, and a charmer, and that you are up for a battle, honey. You see, again, it keeps telling me that you got a lot of walls and barriers. I'm seeing a brick wall, actually, that you have it up because nobody gonna cross you again, but they won't. Because you're assertive, you're prepared, you're talkative, you're impatient, you're perfectionist, a hero, a soldier, and you're brave. In the middle of the deck, Spirit is acknowledging that with the Seven of, of Swords, what we're not seeing is there is an energy of lies, cheating, stealing, trickery, scheming, hiding identity, strategic, adaptable, and daring. What have you been through? Because Spirit is showing it. Spirit is showing that those thoughts that... Did you just hear that? Lies, cheating, stealing, trickery, scheming, hiding identity, strategic, adaptable, daring. <sighs> that panic that I was feeling, something happened. I don't know. Um, but Spirit said it's okay to lay those burdens down because with a chariot card, you are moving forward. You're ambitious. You're focused. You're driven. You have control now. You have determination. So what you didn't have control over before, you have control. And I feel like I said this to you in the email. Something about fear is based in control. Mm -hmm. I think I... Yeah, she did because I told her I was scared to get this reading because I knew it was going to be like kind of negative. And she pretty much was like, fear is an illusion or something. I'm like, said that to you. And so, you know, control the things you can. Release the things you can't. And call it a day. Do not let that shit fuck with your mind, friend. Okay? Moving on. Determination, stamina, and choices. You have choices. And that is the power of this realm. I'm telling you. A lot. Like, every day we got a choice. Okay, so. Cornelia. I'm going to say both. I'm sorry. This might sound ridiculous, but I just have to connect to your correct energy. Cornea, Kanaya. Griffin. Okay, there is something in your energy field that you are watching the shit go down and you're enjoying the gossip. And this has to do with family time. Something about your family and what they've done or what they did. And you're kind of seeing from afar that there's a little shit show. Like there's a train wreck happening. And you are... Just tell me you pause it. It ain't weird. It's energy. It's based off my energy for the moment. But she pretty much talking about family time. Uh, yeah, I don't fuck with family. Enjoying it? <laughs> I'm sorry I had to laugh. You are enjoying it like, you know what? I told you that was going to happen. And I sure did. Mm -hmm. It crashed again. I was trying to wind it back because I couldn't hear from you and Corey talking and I had crashed. Dang it. It, yeah, it, it pretty much crashed. Going to the family part. That's why I told myself, do not, do nothing because it's going to freaking crash. Alright, y'all. So, um, the video that we just did, it pretty much crashed. So, I'm not sure if it saved it or not. But it crashed. So by crashing, I'm just not sure if it saved it. I have to go on a computer to see. So hold up. No, I didn't say. Okay. Alright, sorry, I said something. I don't even feel like alright, I know. <laughs> alright, y'all. Um we are back. The other video ended because it crashed. Because I kept rewinding it back. So I can't keep rewinding it back. So, um, so which one do you want to start over mm -hmm. or you want to just do it from, but see, if I do it from like six or seven minutes, what I'm going to have to do is, I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to have to download both of those videos. I don't know how I'm going to combine both of those videos still. It's just, okay, well, I guess I'll do like part one and part two because it freaking crashed, man, and it crashed the whole thing. All right. Oh, man, it crashed. Okay. With the Knight of Wands, Spirit is acknowledging it's a fire sign, passionate but chaotic, <coughs> that you're adventurous, adventurous, fearless, rebellious, sexy, brave, a risk taker, and a charmer, and that you are up for a battle, honey. You see, again, it keeps telling me that you got a lot of walls and barriers. I'm seeing a brick wall, actually, that you have it up because nobody's going to cross you again, but they won't. 
because you're assertive, you're prepared, you're talkative, you're impatient, you're a perfectionist, a hero, a soldier, and you're brave. In the middle of the deck, Spirit is acknowledging that with the Seven of, of Swords, what we're not seeing is there is an energy of lies, cheating, stealing, trickery, scheming, hiding identity, strategic, adaptable, and daring. What have you been through? Because Spirit is showing it. Spirit is showing that those thoughts, that, that panic that I was feeling, something happened. I don't know. Um, but Spirit said it's okay to lay those burdens down because with a chariot card, you are moving forward. You're ambitious. You're focused. You're driven. You have control now. You have determination. So what you didn't have control over before, you have control. And I feel like I said this to you in an email. Something about fear is based in control. Mm -hmm. I think I said that to you. And so, you know. Control the things you can. Release the things you can't. And call it a day. Do not let that shit fuck with your mind, friend. Okay? Moving on. Determination, stamina, and choices. You have choices. And that is the power of this realm. I'm telling you. A lot. Like, every day we got a choice. Okay. So. Crimea. I'm going to say both. I'm sorry. This might sound ridiculous, but I just have to connect to your correct energy. Crimea, Kanaya. Griffin, okay, there is something in your energy field that you are watching the shit go down and you're enjoying the gossip. And this has to do with family time. Something about your family and what they've done or what they did. And you're kind of seeing from afar that there's a little shit show. Like there's a train wreck happening. And you are enjoying it. <laughs> I'm sorry I had to laugh. You are enjoying it. Like, you know what? I told you that was going to happen. I sure did. Mm-hmm. So they can go ahead and, and participate in their family time. And it feels like you have your own quote unquote family, something that you've created, but you're watching them go down like a shit show. And Spirit said, you already know the T. Okay. So there's something that you're like, you already know. You already know what it is. And it was a good choice for you to leave. Or it was a good choice for you. Spirit is saying to escape. I don't know what you've been through, but it said escape. Wow. Okay, and spirit is acknowledging that you are protecting yourself and you're needing to keep yourself safe. Um, so I don't know if you carry, um, but spirit is also acknowledging this is because you are under a spiritual attack or we're under a spiritual attack around these people and you're fighting off negative energies, fighting a spiritual warfare and needing to clear your energy. And spirit said, oh, 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 there might be a pregnancy test or a little pregnancy scare. Are you pregnant? Or this could be a manifestation. Ain't my business. That's yours. Okay. I shake to the ancestors. I shake to the universe. All right. Cornea, Cornea, Griffin. Don't laugh at me. I have to say both. Okay. It's moving in love and light. I just got to make sure I'm attaching to the right energy. Thank you. And you're fighting off negative energies, fighting a spiritual warfare, and needing to clear your energy. And spirit said, oh, 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 oh. There could be a pregnancy test or a little pregnancy scare. Are you pregnant? Or this could be a manifestation. Ain't my business. That's yours. Okay. I shake to the ancestors. I shake to the universe. All right. Cornea, Cornea, Griffin. Don't laugh at me. I have to say both. Okay. It's moving in love and light. I just got to make sure I'm attaching to the right energy. Thank you. I shake to the ancestors. I shake to the universe. What is the message that we want to send to Cornea? Oh, look at you. One card, please. Okay. This car flipped over. This is your car, sis. Okay, it says bear fruit. I see green. That is like the love chakra, but it's also like abundance. Abundant. Abundant. And it says bear fruit. And I see people like swimming in an open lake. It feels like, but this is a very serene energy. This was like some someone's like um um like the like the optimal getaway, like the most how do you say that word? It is like, it's, it's like the, the place that, that, like in a daydream. Are you going somewhere? Are you, yeah. are you taking a vacation? Are you going to a secret island or a secret space? Something that you've been thinking about for years. Yeah. But anyway, labor and homage, relish, relish, excuse me, in the sweetness of life. See, spirit keeps wanting you to, so, oh my God, it just keeps saying you have you have dealt with the blows of life and you have tasted the bitterness of life. And now spirit wants to give you the sweetness of life. I say to the ancestors, I say to the universe, your many nights of prayer, worry and faith are finally paying off. You have worked hard for everything you receive. You are a dear friend and an honest companion. The foundations to your relationship are solid. You are optimistic at the core. 
you are too jovial to second guess guess this moment the law of attraction proves your spirit is made of gold do not forget to give thanks to the most high to your tribe to the land to your dead people to nature to your body to all the things that have contributed to your long-term welfare because all of those pieces have contributed to where you are today i'm getting chills because I, I say this all the time like spirit wants us to be so happy and so well and I just feel like they push so much positivity our way and they just want us to be so successful and I can feel the energy off of this card just they really want you to be happy and they really want you to be successful it just keeps saying that you have you've been through it you've been through the fire and they want you to taste the sweetness of life and so I don't know if you're planning a trip or if you're thinking about like there's this place that you, I don't everything I could go but I can go they want you to go there. That place, to that space that you've I'm been going. daydreaming about, they want you to book it. I'm They're like, oh, I've been talking you deserve about it. For it. Years, it's yours. Like she said, but the, over the past couple weeks, I'm talking Pretty about it. Like, okay. I swear, I'm like going. Spirit set there. wide open in reverse. Are you holding back? Envy, jealousy, and possessiveness are the character flaws to be careful of at this time. You or someone else is closed off, unable to remain open to new ideas or intimacy. Heed the gentle warning that too tight a hold on what or who you love or what you aspire to will choke the life out of that which you desire. Release control. Open your heart and loosen your grip. For what is truly yours can never be withheld from you. If another is shutting you down, let that person be. Let them go. Don't try to force a door or a mind to open. You know, if you've cut off some people, let them go. They serve They serve you no purpose at this point in your life, okay? This is current energy, okay? Kania, Kania, Griffin, current energy. Six of Cups. So Spirit is acknowledging that you're thinking about your childhood um, or you just have memories, flashbacks of childhood. Uh, this could be an energy that brings you um, emotion or you could be a water sign thinking of the past, thinking about reuniting with family, maybe considering it, just really needing a good, a strong support system. Subconsciously, this energy makes you feel lack. I don't know if you had enough money growing up um, or because of this energy you overspend you know to say retail therapy kind of energy or it also makes you feel like a lack of opportunities there's something going on with your childhood that makes you feel a lack some sense of a lack okay with the ace of pentacles it made you conform and and do things you did not want or mm -hmm. <sighs> an earth sign who doesn't have a strong foundation okay in the middle of the deck spirit is acknowledging with the king of cups is there a male around you who is trying to help you through this because it says there's someone around you now that's calm and caring wise um you might even have someone who's could be a father figure or just a father representation that has kind of tried to help you in this in the midst of this um who's tolerant wow so what she's saying right now is i'm going through a lot of childhood trauma and it's somebody around me right now a man who's calm and caring wise loyalty father figure tolerant and a good husband hmm. i wonder who that is i wonder too <laughs> to be a good husband not sure if you're married or not all right See? what is her biggest obstacle you is helping me through my childhood trauma though for real she is and this is just a general reading because you did not ask me any general, I mean, like any, um, any so direct I questions. Okay. Um, your She's biggest fine. obstacle is you're working too hard and it's making you dependent and it's making you feel like there's no style to what you're doing. And let me just say this. <sighs> let me get the download because it's here. Um, Spirit is acknowledging that the work that you're supposed to do. It's going to be very easy and effortless to you. You're not going to have to push and you're not going to have to pull. Right now, currently, you're you're making money, but it, it just feels like this isn't the job that, that you would have desired for yourself or even spirit has desired for you. And you're making money. <sighs> or do you have a job? See, spirit is acknowledging like there's something going on with job, period. Do you have a job? Yeah, I have one job. Spirit wants you to do something 
that is effortless and wow. Yeah, so I have one job and I have like 54 businesses. And with those 54 businesses and that one job, I'm literally working 24 seven. And I don't know why, because like my husband tell me to slow all the way down. You don't have to do all this work. You don't have to do all that. You don't. You know, we got a three-year-old and a one-year-old. Like, you don't have to do all this. I, I, I push myself so hard. And, like, I don't know why. It's like if I don't keep busy, I'm going to think about those traumas throughout the day. So I have to be busy 24 My spirit says gentle. It's a gentle life. Like, they want you to be in a gentle life era. Like, soft era kind of thing. And they, they don't like that you're working this hard. Yeah. Uh, so consciously, poor planning... Limitations and delay are big. Did you see pregnancy of them? <laughs> I just saw pregnancy of that. She didn't say it though. But spirit don't. <coughs> spirit don't like the fact that I'm working this hard. I don't like the fact that I'm working this hard. I don't know what it is. Like I say, I already know. Because of childhood trauma, I overwork. I'm talking about I work 24-7. Like 24-7 working. Working, working, working around the clock. And taking care of my three on my one year old. And then I got a lovely husband. But I'm working so hard to the point where I'm just neglecting the people that I love the most. And I don't want to continue doing that. And Spirit said that they don't like the fact that I'm working this hard. So I'm going to have to slow that down. Obstacles for you with the Three of Wands in the area of passion, but also in the area of business in the middle of the day. Another big obstacle for you is a deadbeat parent, deadbeat parents boring broken promises okay and uh, making wrong decisions because of this energy um dealing with memory and remembering things that could have happened to you forgetting things that happened to you and making you feel like you just don't have a direction sending you love and light feels like trauma yeah. all right what's next for cornea what's, what's next for her i don't have parents I mean, I do agree. I probably okay. see my parents once in the 10 See, Spirit says you, they want you out of that zone. They don't want you to think about it anymore. Because the more you think about it, the more you feed it. And it's following you like a disease. Don't let it, don't let it affect your mind. Because it makes you feel like... You making wrong decisions, or you have a lack of direction. Wow. Um, Spirit is also acknowledging that the King of Pentacles. I don't know why, but it just keeps saying something happened to you in the past with a partner, and it makes you feel insecure. Was this person unfaithful, um, corrupt, or or like greedy? Didn't have that that law of reciprocity: give and take, give and take. Maybe you gave, 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 and it just take, 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 take. But be cautious and, and very aware of this energy and this 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 person. It feels like a past relationship. Honestly, it does. All right. In the middle of the deck. Spirit said you are slow to recover um, because you feel burnt out mentally around this energy. And you need to clear, cancel, and release. And you need to focus on self-care. Okay. And so normally I wouldn't do this, but I just think it's important. Everything that she's saying is like because I was I was what the hell done, but it says self care and spirit said tell her. So what does she need to do in regards what to self care? Like what should be a focus like right now and I've been to watching help her, her get out of this space like, and stay out of that space? She's the shit. I've been watching her for a whole year. She is the shit. <laughs> make sure y'all um ooh, make sure y'all subscribe to her channel. Oh, I love this card thankful for gratitude rampage list 10 things you're thankful for every day i don't care if it's the same thing the same 10 things thank you spirit is acknowledging that this will increase your vibration increase your endorphins you know every day i don't care if it's the same 10 things thankful for gratitude rampage you need to go on it i'm thankful for this i'm grateful for this because like i said you've tasted the bitterness of life but spirit wants you to also recognize that that was your yesterday this reading is to keep you on your righteous path and may you stay 
in love and light and resonate as high as possible and connect to the highest frequency that the universe can offer. Ashe. Why you? I don't know why you don't. I don't know why you don't like believe in stuff like this. You talking about? I guess she got a little psychic in her. Yeah, because everything that she said is like, oh my god, it's it's related to me in some type of way. Oh my god, this <coughs> this is just like, I don't know. <laughs> Wow. Hey, wow. friend. Okay, so is it Cornelia or Cornea? Wow. Um. Wow. Do y'all want me to play the video again, or no? If not, I'm gonna just cut it off. And um, sometime tonight or tomorrow, I'm gonna edit the two videos. I'm gonna edit them, put it up, I'm gonna put them together and I'm gonna post it to YouTube. Wow. I don't know why I wanna call you Cornaya. I don't wanna mispronounce your name, but I feel like energy is like, it's okay, it's okay. So I'm gonna call you Cornaya and I. Uh, do y'all want me to play it again? If so, let me know. If not, then um, I'm going to get up off here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two, three, four, I want to tell you this. Okay, so I'm getting the cards, and I don't know. Do you know Monica? I mean, I'm pretty sure you know Monica. But anyway, back in the day, she had a song that was Miss A. <laughs> So you gotta check out the lyrics of that song because Spirit is just telling me that this is your energy. Like you are Miss Bang, okay? So as you see, cards already came out. So let's just see what Spirit wants me to know. Moving in love and light to keep you on your righteous. Do y'all want to watch it again? If not, I'm about to get up off here. <sighs> Let me get the download because it's here. And this is just a general reading because you did not ask me any general, I mean like any, um, any direct questions okay um your biggest obstacle is you're working too hard and it's making you dependent and it's making you feel like there's no style to what you're doing and let me just say this <sighs> let me get the download because it's here um spirit is acknowledging that the work that you're supposed to do is going to be very easy and effortless to you you're not gonna have to push and you're not going to have to pull Right now, currently, you are, you're making money, but it, it just feels like this isn't the job that, that you would have desired for yourself or even spirit has desired for you. And you're making money. <sighs> or do you have a job? See, spirit is acknowledging like there's something going on with job, period. Do you have a job? Spirit wants you to do something that is effortless and... I don't know why spirit says gentle. It's a gentle life. Like they want you to be in a gentle life era, like soft era. But that you're working this hard. Uh, so consciously poor planning, limitations and delay are big obstacles for you with the three of wands in the area of passion, but also in the area of business in the middle of the day. Another big obstacle for you is a deadbeat parent, deadbeat parents, boring, broken promises. Okay. 
and uh, making wrong decisions because of this energy, um, dealing with memory and remembering things that could have happened to you, forgetting things that happened to you and making you feel like you just don't have a direction. Sending you love and light feels like trauma. I really enjoyed this reading. This reading is a 10 out of 10. Yo, I kind of lost my voice, by the way. But yeah, um, reading is a 10 out of 10, y'all. Money well spent. I can pretty much say that. Oh, I just feel so emotional right now. Wow. Y'all, like I said, um, make sure y'all subscribe to her YouTube channel. She is like the best. It's tarot card shit. Like, she's the best. Girl, you did amazing. I'm talking about 9 out of, I mean, 10 out of 10. I'm talking about 10 out of 10. It got me so emotional right now. Like, she done called out all my childhood trauma. She done called out everything. And it's like, I got to get up off here so I can go cry. Y'all make sure y'all subscribe to her channel. Now she did have another channel on YouTube, but YouTube took it down like some months ago, cause YouTube was hating. But y'all make sure y'all subscribe to her channel. I'm pretty much subscribed to her. Y'all know I got ten YouTube channels. <laughs> I got so many YouTube channels. I'm gonna have to go through. Each one, each YouTube channel is subscribed to um, her channel. Oh my God, y'all. This is, um, and that's another thing, like when she said working too hard. Let me tell you what she mean by working too hard. I've been on YouTube for almost two years and I have posted over 10,000 videos. That's what she mean by working too hard. <laughs> I've been on YouTube almost two years and I posted out over 10,000 videos. Yep. Plus, I, I run like... I run like 54 different businesses. I'm not playing. I have several um, accounts, several pages... Um, and when I say businesses, I'm talking about like social media pages like TikTok, Facebook, etc., etc. Like, I run so many businesses and stuff. I, um, stop, baby. Give me your, give me the remote. Oh, my God. Give me the remote. I sell my own body products, body butters, and stuff. Like, I'm running so many businesses to the point where I'm not focusing on the main businesses and that's why those businesses are getting behind way behind because i would start a business and then slow down and then start another business and slow down and start another business and it's like i don't know but that reading she did was it was really emotional <laughs> y'all saw the part where she said deadbeat parent or deadbeat parents yeah, like, when it comes down to my parents, like, I don't really have my parents in my life. Never really had my parents. That whole reading was just... <laughs> oh, my God. It just reminded me of my low-vibrating-ass life. Like, that's why I got to turn those lemonades into a sweetness. Just like she said.
the um yeah so i'm gonna go and watch that video over and over again and i'm gonna end this right here because it's gonna be a part one and part two